Okay, uh, get, get in here a bit. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so today we're looking at uh, when people mess with buffaloes, or bison, as you would call it. Um, there's quite a lot of these. Uh, like, pe- you think people would learn like not to mess with a 2,000-plus animal? Like, yes. uh, <laughs> just because it's a herbivore doesn't mean it's weak. <coughs> you know? Well, busy with bears and baby cubs. and. Well, I mean, like, People think that they can't mess with those, but yet again, there's still videos of people like messing with bears, and uh, they're really dumb. Well, <laughs> I mean, we got tons of raccoons and possums in this area. I don't mess with them. I just, well, you, you just can't addict well life. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, they're all ganging up on you. They're chasing you down. Right. <laughs> uh, we have like wild turkeys. I don't mess with them. No, I mean, like, even though they're like turkey to birds, you know, they can still peck. You know, they can still scratch at you with their feet. I mean, well, all these parks, I mean, you're technically going to their house. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, we're, we're not like, we're not like uh, the masters of this domain. You know, like, we like to, we like to be, but most of the time we aren't. So we got to respect nature, you know. You, you know, I've never seen a, a cougar or a mountain lion in this area. There, I've seen signs, but I've never seen one. No, there's there's been sightings. It's just that, like, <laughs> no, I've never um, seen them. They're they're reclusive. <laughs> and, like, you're not gonna see one like by accident. They try to avoid people, but I mean, obviously, if they're they have their babies with them, they're gonna go wherever they want. So okay, well, who wants is that idiot? This is like really stupid. More this one uh, is in uh, Yellowstone Park. Um, I, I guess guys, ABC News. So yeah, guy's got his car. Got his car in the safety of his car to taunt a bison. Really? No, no reason. They didn't weigh how much they weigh. You know. They do. They. Over two thousand pounds, I would say. Like, you know, they're as terrible. much as as much as their car, you know, almost as much as their car, they can easily flip over their car. So why, why you think don't think they'll flip over you? Plus, yeah. plus they run faster than you. Yeah, they're they terrible. look slow, but they run about maybe 25, 30 miles per hour. If you pitch them, just zoom in. <laughs> God damn, very ta- taunting. This is gonna be bad. I know this is going to be bad. <laughs> so the first one we're doing today, uh, <coughs> where we're talking about animals and people and stuff, but uh, um, the link will be in the description. And uh, before we forget, uh, we have some merch, uh, buy our T-shirts, and uh, well, we're going to get a mask soon. So uh, you guys can enjoy that on Teespring. Yeah. So uh, let's get into it. Now, now, with a, a summer, summer vacation, vacation warning, warning. But, but is this, this really a warning? This is really a warning? Warning? <laughs> 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 Oh, come on, dude. Look at really? him. Good idea. He's like twice as big as the guy. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. Look how big that thing is towards him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dozens of people are injured by wild animals every year. Despite the warnings to keep your distance, people are getting up close and personal with these animals. Dramatically, underestimating, underestimating their strength, strength especially, especially that guy, guy in this video. video. We need power and see it's it's right on the road at Yellowstone National Park. But look, <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's thinking that he can, like, shoot him away because he's in the middle of the road. Why is he taunting? No, he's trying to get him towards him. I mean, this is their door character. Don't understand, Rose. He taunts the bison some more. Come on, dude. Really? Remarkably, the man escapes uninjured and begins walking away. Well, like, he can't run around taking other people. Right. It's a dangerous thing. Oh, look at those little things. Look at the horns. He's bored by a bison at Yellowstone. She was going to get gored up. You know, that hurts. She survived. And that same week, two other people were attacked by us. Experts warning, if animals are taunted, they may strike back. It is. You know how I many people are teasing them, you know, a year? Fight for aggression, fight for territory. In 2015, Brandy Burgess and her daughter got too close to this bison to snap a selfie. Not, not smart. Tossing and flipping her in the air. It was yeah. my Jeffrey Ride. I have been through in my uh, there are my layers in on there. With only minor injuries. But uh, this is all is left is it in the of her ass. And your interactions may be dangerous oh, for the animal, too. Oh, this is a sad story. Tourists at Yellowstone, Yellowstone put a baby bison in their car because they thought it was cold. It wasn't, it wasn't able to be reunited, reunited with its mother, and rangers had to euthanize it. 
Oh. The best way to view wildlife is within a safe distance. You should, you should never get close to 20 or 30 yards to any animal. animal. Realize, Realize how privileged, privileged we are in this country to have a fur. How can it be cold? It's used to, to, to that area. It has a fur. It has thick fur. Thick, fine fur. Yellowstone this morning says it is investigating the man who was captured on camera in that latest incident taunting that bison. So, like, don't man. Mess, don't mess with wildlife. No, I like, don't care how bad small they are or big they are. Just don't mess with them. You know? No, yeah. like, not even a squirrel. Like, don't even mess with squirrels. I, I, I don't mess with squirrels. I they, don't, they have sharp teeth to bite you. I don't like pigeons either. I don't care the little bastard near me. <laughs> hey, pigeons. <laughs> pigeons. But they, they look at me and say, I'm not going to feed you. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as you feed one, though, the other ones will come over. Mm hmm. But I do feed eagles. I like to watch them do a fake cheddar. <laughs> <coughs> so, what was me here? <laughs> Don't get close. I just get the biggest picture behind you. <coughs> yeah, I mean, like, you're going to take a picture of an animal just, just like from a distance, you know, like, we have zoo, like, cameras that. Zoom in so good, well that you could see them like they're right in front of you. So there's oh, no yeah. reason to do that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, maybe we should take a break here because. Uh, <laughs> no, what we do is you find a stuffed buffalo and take a picture of it. Yeah, I mean, like get yeah. get one that somebody's already been caught. You or, know, like, or a bobcat that looks like Arr! Take a picture of it. You know what I mean? You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. Uh, just like fake, like you've been there, you know. <laughs> yeah, but don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah. So, anything else to say? Uh. No, just, um, just, just uh, don't try to brawl up to these animals. They, they've had like a lot more, like experiencing you than you than fighting. Yeah, but they're, I'm very sure there's like thousands, of, thousands of humans that tease them a year. Yeah, but. They, they'll You're never no learn. Sense. They'll been... never learn. Unfortunately. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>